Check out this customer support AI automation in NAN. We start with collecting the ticket information that's coming in from Zendesk or Gorgeous or Freshdesk. Then we have a little switch module over here. Now the switch module actually has two routes. The first route is to respond to a ticket. So it generates a response based on a customer's question. And then route two, if the ticket is solved, it takes that ticket, it breaks it down, does some reporting, and then it adds it into Google Sheet. And then the second route, which breaks down a solved ticket, just takes the solved ticket. Right now it generates FAQs, but it can break down and say, what was the contact reason of the ticket? Um, what are some other identifiers that I want to take away from the actual interaction? And then it logs it in Google Sheets as well. So then the really cool thing is you can take that agent, you can plug it into an inbox like this, which is a Zendesk inbox, but it can also go into Gorgeous or Freshdesk or any other ticketing CRM. And as you can see here, I've got loads of open tickets where customers are waiting for responses. Um, so probably getting really, really frustrated. And using this automation, we can actually solve all those tickets as they come in. So I'm gonna test the workflow so we can actually see how it executes. Over in Gmail, I've got a sample request I'm gonna be sending in. It says, hi there, what are the specs of the Julka Hot Tap Essentials Kit? which is actually this main hot tap kit on my website, which is the one that we see here. And now this agent's gonna be triggering really soon. Once that ticket actually hits my Zendesk inbox, it's gonna be triggered to fire off to this NAN agent. And there we go, it's already started. So we're collecting the ticket information for the first route and now zooming in to this, to this bottom part over here. We're generating the response. We're actually hitting our website. We're reviewing the information for the hot tap essentials. And once this is done, we're gonna, we're gonna be taking that information, breaking down the response uh, into an API ready format plugging it into the API, and then going across to Google Sheets and adding that there as well. So now in my Zendesk inbox, if I just open up this ticket, I can see my original request was over here. Hi there, what are the specs of the hot tap essentials? And then over here, I have the answer. Hi there, the Julka hot tap essentials has all these specs. Please note, here's some other information. Thanks, your AI customer support agent. So now this workflow literally responded back to the customer within a few minutes of raising that ticket. And if I now click test workflow again, and I just solved that ticket, we're gonna see that this route is now gonna choose the route pathway two, and it's gonna to go to get the solved ticket, analyze it, and then add some reporting into Google Sheets. Over in Zendesk, I'm just gonna to go to here and hit solved. And now in NAN, we have that solved ticket coming through to our uh, AI agent. It's getting reviewed over here. So we're actually just generating an FAQ for now and then adding it into Google Sheets. Okay, done, it was added. So now in Google Sheets, I'm in my responses tab. So this is the first flow of the agent that generated the response. We have the ticket ID information over here. We have the ticket subject, the ticket body, so the entire question or all the comments on a ticket and then the response that was generated. And then over in Google Sheets, we can just say, yes, this is a good response, or no, this is a bad response. And we can review it and kind of keep making edits to our agent. So now in the FAQs tab, the exact same thing's happening. The ticket ID is logged, ticket subject, and ticket body. And if we slide across, we actually have an FAQ that was generated. So this FAQ over here is, what are the specifications of the hot tap essentials? And here's all that information. So now at this stage, if we really wanted to, we can review this and say, yep, this is a good FAQ to add to our customer support page. Or if we wanted to have some kind of predefined macros or other systems um, using the information that we capture from tickets. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. To get the full walkthrough of this video, as well as the free NAN template, just click the link below and you'll be taken across to the instructions.